there everybody, thanks for joining me for another one man review. Today I'm taking a look at a really interesting book called Flow Form Specimen by Lael Westvin. This is out from Neoglyphic Media and uh, this is a really strange but interesting book that leans very much into the poetics of form stuff that I've been getting fascinated with. So this is also, I would say, a constrained comic. Like there's a rule in here that is a constraint and it's not a comic in the standard narrative sense in, in any sense of the word. Um, what it is though is it is images in sequence that do have relationships to each other that you can start to pick apart. And maybe amongst these images up here you could extrapolate a story but they're pretty abstract. You have to go looking uh, it, but there are characters like engaging in them, you know, like you can see these two different characters fighting or something, but there's a fair amount of interpretation. But anyways, this story is there are, and I don't know which order this went in. My assumption is, is that Lel Westman created all of these pieces here, um, just these little shapes and then set themselves, himself, herself. I don't know, Lael, I don't don't know <laughs> don't know how to gender that name uh, but the challenge here then the constraint seems to be that any of like these are the shapes then that are on this page and the image is going to have to be constructed out of these shapes so you see that this or I should say these forms so you can see this form here is like flipped upside down and larger right there and you can go through and find these different forms. It's it's not always super easy. This one's uh, here. Yeah, it's flipped up over here. And so there's like a little game to be played. This like Where's Waldo game of where these are at. And sometimes they're overlap. Like, uh, I think this one's up. No, I don't know. It's not always <laughs> it's not always easy to find them. But all of these forms here wind up like here. You can see this this one up here but there's some overlap uh, so you don't get to see all of it some of it's getting covered up and these seem to be the keys to these other images in some way i don't know exactly what i think probably that these got arranged in a way that was compelling to leo westman and then leo went and finished uh whatever these forms are based on these it could be the case that these things got made first and then these got extracted out of them but I don't think so and because you get like on the cover you even get some of them being reformed to, to make the words there and then you get like a catalog here on the inside front cover and you see like this this image here uh, also shows up here and it's also on the cover so you get this and this is turned sideways that one's a little bit easier to spot um, this little like bat symbol here that's been used on the cover to make the W. So there's like this preset catalog of forms, I think. I don't know how, there's no explanation in here. I don't know how they were made, why they were made, um, if they were just purely visual, if there was some other impetus for them. If they're like, this looks, you know, like a rabbit and a character. I don't know if the duck, they're, I don't know if they're supposed to represent things or if they're just intended to be entirely non-representational and then they're put together to make these figure forms. I don't know. But it's a really intriguing uh, thing to look at, and I think it would be probably even more fun to make. Like, it's always fun to work with constraints. I remember uh, seeing one artist when I lived in Germany for a couple of months. The guy at the, the artist residency I was not living at, but was associated with, there was a guy there that had made like something similar to this, where he had made one drawing but every line that he did was like a different layer in Photoshop. And then he saved all of those lines and he had like a thousand some odd lines and then he'd reconstruct new drawings out of that same set of lines. That was his constraint. This feels similar to that, except there's new, new shapes for each one. Uh, so it's very hard to say that this works anything like a standard comic, but it really is still images in sequence and images in a very strange relationship that you know you couldn't explain the the relationship between them by any of the standard kind of ways that we talk about images relating in comics so really pushing the boundaries and again leaning into that poetics of form thing that i i keep coming back to um, since starting this channel like seeing people push the boundaries of just fear 
pure formal relationships and pure formal play through sequence. Like the fact that this shape, I don't know what it is, but it shows up and repeats, um, starts to gain meaning, I, I think is really, really interesting. So a short little book, it it's, uh, should be pretty cheap. I forget how much it was, um, but you can get it from Neoglyphic Media. It's printed on like a newsprint paper, newsprintish paper here. Uh, you get another, you know, like catalog here in the back. These ones seem to be sorted by color, whereas here they they don't seem as as bound by color in all of these pages. So it's something I really think you could spend a lot of time with. Like even though it's short, you could probably spend a lot of time pulling meaning out of it. And I think that's kind of the I think the main thing for Lyle Westman was just the the fun of the constraint and the experiment. But I think there's also this intentional openness of interpretation that makes it a fun project so if this looks at all interesting to you go grab yourself a copy i can't imagine that there that's going to be a huge print run of this if you enjoy what we're doing here on the channel you like being exposed to works like this that you may not find otherwise and you want to support us there's two ways to do that the first one is through our patreon we have two different tiers of uh, support that you can give there that's very appreciated. The, the money we get from Patreon goes back into helping us buy the books that we get. So put that back into the community. And then if you want to support Living the Line itself, the best thing to do is support Living the Line Publishing. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one of the projects that Sean has coming out from the publishing side now. Plaza by Yokoyami Uichi. Uh, this is translated by Ryan Holmberg and is a very large for a manga so that's a really cool feature of this book this standard manga size and it, it this is just a 200 some odd page um, representation of what Yokoyama Yuichi thinks of the carnival parade and he's just made this like relentlessly loud and rhythmic book that pushes all kinds of amazing boundaries of what comics and manga are and we could not recommend this book more. Thanks for following along. Take it away, Jack. What?